Look at the picture. See the skull, the part of bone removed, the master race Frankenstein radio controls, the brain thoughts broadcasting radio, the eyesight television, the Frankenstein earphone radio, the threshold brainwash radio, the latest new skull reforming to contain all Frankenstein controls, even in thin skulls of white pedigree males, visible Frankenstein controls, the synthetic nerve radio directional antenna loop. Make copies for yourself. There is no escape from this worse gangster police state using all of the deadly gangster Frankenstein controls. In 1965, CIA gangster police beat me bloody, dragged me in chains from Kennedy New York Airport. Since then, I hide in forced jobless poverty, isolated, alone, in this low, deadly nigger town old house. The brazen, deadly gangster police and nigger puppet underlings spray me with poison nerve gas from automobile exhausts and even lawnmowers, deadly assaults even in my yard with knives, even bricks and stones, even deadly touch haven or electric shock flashlights, even remote electronically controlled around corners projection of deadly touch tarantula spiders, or even bloody murder accidents to shut me up forever with a sneak undetectable extermination, even with trained parroting puppet assassins in maximum security insanity prison for writing these unforgivable truths until my undetectable extermination I, Francis E. Deck Esquire, 29 Maple Avenue, Hempstead, New York. I stand alone against your mad, deadly, worldwide, conspiratorial, gangster, computer god communism with wall-to-wall, -wall deadly gangster protection, lifelong sworn conspirators, murder incorporated, organized crime, the police and judges, the deadly sneak parroting puppet gangsters using all the gangster deadly Frankenstein controls, these hangman ropes Sneak deadly gangsters, the judges and the police, trick, trap, rob, wreck, butcher, and murder the people that keep them terrorized in gangster Frankenstein earphone radio slavery for the communist gangster government and con artist parroting puppet gangster playboy scum on top. The secret work of all police in order to maintain a communist closed society. The same worldwide mad deadly communist gangster computer god that controls controls you as a terrorized gangster Frankenstein earphone radio slave parroting puppet. You are a terrorized member of the master race worldwide. Four billion eyesight television camera guinea pig communist gangster computer god master race. You're living, thinking, mad, deadly, worldwide communist gangster computer god secret overall plan worldwide living death Frankenstein slavery to explore and control the entire universe with the endless stairway to the stars, namely the man-made inside-out planets with nucleonic powered speed much faster than the speed of light. Look up and see the gangster computer god concocted new fake starry sky, the worldwide completely controlled deadly degenerative climate and atmosphere through the new world round translucent exotic gaseous envelope which the worldwide communist gangster computer god manipulates through countless exactly positioned satellites, the new fake phony stars in the synthetic sky for ages before Frankenstein controls apoidic niggers inter breedable with apes had no alphabet not even numerals slavery conspiracy over 300 years ago ideally tiny brain apoidic nigger gangster government eyesight tv gangster spy cameras computer god new world order degeneration gifted with all gangster frankenstein controls nigger deadly gangster parroting puppets or nigger brain programmed robots deadly ape frankenstein machines degenerative disease to eternal frankenstein slavery overall plan through one world communism top secret code word meaning worldwide absolutely helpless and hopeless simple language mongrel mulatto apoidic niggers 
Worldwide systematic instant plastic surgery butchery murder. Fake aging so all people are dead or useless by age 70. Done at night to you as a Frankenstein slave parroting puppet gangster slave. Now even you know I am a menace to your worldwide mad deadly communist gangster computer god. Therefore I must go to extermination before I am exterminated by this gangster computer god concocted and controlled worst mongrel organized crime murder incorporated gangster communist government. I hand you the secrets to save the entire human race and the entire universe. Donate money or even a manual typewriter to me for your only hope for a future. All judges, first and second appellate division, Superior Court, New York City, Court of Appeals, Albany, New York, U.S. Supreme Court, Washington, D.C., I write demanding a rehearing of my worse than lowest deadly gangster police state criminal conviction, which appeal case was in your farce, deadly gangster ghetto communist, gangster computer god manipulated gangster court. Below, I state some of the many reasons for said rehearing, plus all of my evidence the Attorney General chicanerously forwarded to the Bar Association Grievance Committee for prosecution of felon gangster mafiotic negroidic the black frank gelata a gangster judge therefore unprosecutable the blackish menial negroidic in appearance and demeanor felon vicious parroting puppet ex-district attorney nassau county with no private law experience detested by all factions in spite of this solely because of his many year secret gangsterization and crucifixion of me this negroidic low mafiotic deadly black frank gelata was then immediately and unprecedentedly and repeatedly rapidly promoted in spite of tremendous opposition to the present position of second highest state judgeship solely through gangster computer god manipulation as additional evidence during the last week of my within mentioned month long worse than a farce nazi court criminal trial in nassau county court 1958 where dwarfed it felon gangster parroting puppet rectum lapper sodomist judge william sullivan's ball of fat felon slot wife she as planned sat in the front row repeatedly stripping her overclothes and completely pulling up her dress and slip and pulling aside her old-fashioned pink bloomers in order to display her anus her conch she repeatedly gesticulated and whispered i'll give it to you to suck finish him her husband dwarfed it felon gangster parroting puppet rectum lapper sodomist judge william sullivan flushed faced in repeated open sodomistic displays stuck out his tongue wiggling it chuckling to her you hangman rope gangster felon parroting puppet scum on top playboys can watch my frankenstein eyesight television playback of this felonious lowly sodomistic display by the felon sodomist judge william sullivan and his lowly felon slut wife during my trial in nassau county court after my worse than nazi court criminal conviction crucifixion for years in poverty i suffered hopeless jobless character assassination and isolation in this low deadly nigger town i was the repeat target victim of this gangster government's gangsterization and undetectable extermination attempts to shut me up forever with my secrets then in december 14th the 17th 1965 i attempted to escape this worst mongrel gangster communist country to return to the slovenic polish land of my forefathers instead in a gangster stage parroting puppet deadly conspiracy i was flown from kennedy new york airport at night to a small distant st lawrence river estuary snowbound small airport under the guise that i was in warsaw poland immediately many many things proved this to me including the two big white asbestos shingled hangars with the large brand of airway signs on their sidewalls in addition to the many blurted statements i solicited from the many cia deadly gangsters the assassins of me the many many parroting puppets all around me i demanded an immediate flight back to kennedy new york airport instead i was held captive all night later in chains i refused both all food and requests i go to sleep then cia police gangsters pretending to be polish police with no identification beat me bloodily later while my return trip 707 boeing jet airliner was being serviced for my return trip i quickly walked into the airplane and saw a cia gangster with a small electric hairdryer type blower pumping deadly poison nerve gas smoke into secret compartments under the ashtrays in the arms of the chairs where later i was ordered to sit in the airplane full of cia underlings passengers my assassins who 
giggled as they watched me dragged in chains by the airplane by the gangsters, CIA police gangsters, these deadly gangsters, CIA passengers. They pressed the frontal panel of the ashtrays in the seat arms to release the deadly poison nerve gas smoke. Indubitably, all of the others deadly CIA underling gangsters aboard this staged return flight, they all had taken the top secret poison nerve gas antidote pill, immuning them from the deadly poison nerve gas smoke. Deadly poison nerve gas smoke was sprayed at me from cigars, cigarettes, and even from ballpoint pens, also from the wig of a woman sitting next to me. Even the Swiss cheese type ice cubes were evaporating into poison nerve gas smoke in all of the free drinks. I got up and went to the rear of the airplane by the rear exit door with a large push-up handle. My Frankenstein brain thought broadcasting radio disclosed my intentions immediately the loudspeaker screamed that the flight was over and that our airplane was already preparing to land at kennedy new york airport you hangman rope sneak gangster playboy scum on top know these facts are true not only from taking part in such undetectable exterminations but also you chicanerous demented felon parroting puppet gangsters can watch my frankenstein eyesight television playback of all these horrible terrifying deadly events when i returned home joseph i deck my only brother and deadly felon murderer and assassin spy agent against me for this gangster government he beat me repeatedly cursing me that i was not exterminated by all of the poison nerve gas smoke and that i did the impossible in that i kept awake for three days and refused all food in order to prevent my sneak extermination in accordance with the completely gangster computer god concocted and manipulated statutory laws one of your gangster court's requisite duties is to automatically rehear my said appeal case because it has been brought to your attention you hangman rope gangsters that my entire life was destroyed by you co-conspirators through the gangster government perjured and fabricated criminal conviction of me in order to fulfill the demands of your communist god the worldwide man deadly gangster computer god you deadly parroting puppet felon gangsters already know that i have been and am an innocent primary victim and target for destruction and extermination because i am a menace to your gangster computer god and that i am worse than defenseless without the gangster protection and control of the gangster frankenstein earphone radio i stand alone against you demented deadly gangster parroting puppets namely this worst gangster communist computer god controlled gangster government before i'm exterminated by you hangman rope underlings i demand a reply october 21st 1976 francis e dick esquire addendum i personally filed my maximum conviction appeal brief in 1961 with the chief clerk of the u.s supreme court washington dc the chief clerk he knew me he sneeringly grabbed my thick strong homemade appeal brief and then he attempted to rip it up in desperation the chief clerk of the u.s supreme court ripped off the cover of my appeal brief. Miraculously, I stopped him without a deadly scene to me. Then, filing my ripped appeal brief, the felon, another co-conspirator with the nine hangman rope gangster judges, the chief clerk in cowardly fear, in staccato speech and gesticulation, he confessed to me, Mr. Deck, everyone is in on this one against you, even the attorney general, namely Bobby Kennedy, younger than his very young brother Jack Kennedy, Kennedy then president, the Kennedy playboys. Little fact, Bobby was a felon, lowest, chicanerous, untouchable, parroting puppet gangster against worse than defenseless Mr. Francis E. Deck Esquire by quick questioning and the co-conspiring felon chief clerk explained and gave me a new and special notice form for only Mr. Francis E. Deck Esquire which had to be mailed to the opposition the deadly gangster district attorney in order to prevent the dismissal of my appeal case leaving quickly I noticed in the room and hall several approaching uniformed and plainclothes beweaponed police later Joseph I. Deck only brother, deadly villain, murderer, and secret assassin spy agent against me for this gangster government cursed me, stating that I tricked the chief clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court and that I got out of that death trap fast. So brainwashed from birth by the computer god threshold brainwash radio, parroting puppet gangster slave, if you believe in anything, forget kneeling to abide by the high holy law long enough to say one word of pray for me, for your only hope for a future. Footnote, remember, it is gangster U.S. Supreme Court written, high holy law. I'll give it to you to suck. Finish him. Gangster Computer God Worldwide Secret Containment Policy. Made possible solely by Worldwide Computer God Frankenstein Controls. Especially lifelong constant threshold brainwash radio. Quiet and motionless, I can slightly hear it. Repeatedly, this has saved my life on the streets. Four billion worldwide population, 
all living have a computer god containment policy brain bank brain, a real brain, in the brain bank cities on the far side of the moon we never see. Primarily based on your lifelong Frankenstein radio controls, especially your eyesight TV, sight and sound, recorded by your brain, your moon brain of the computer gun activates your Frankenstein threshold brainwash radio. Lifelong, inculcating conformist propaganda, even frightening you and mixing you up. And the usual, don't worry about it, for your setbacks, mistakes, even when you receive deadly injuries. This is the Worldwide Computer God Secret Containment Policy. Worldwide is a Frankenstein slave, usually at night. You go to a nearby hospital or camouflage miniature hospital van trucks. You strip naked, lay on the operating table, which slides into the sealed Computer God robot operating cabinet. Intravenous tubes are connected. Slimy, vicious Jew doctor simply pushes the starting button based upon your computer god brain on the moon, which records progress in your systematic butchery. Your butchery is continued. Exactly. Systematically. The computer god operating cabinet has many robot arms with electrical and laser beam knife robot arms with fly-eye TV cameras watching your whole body. Every part of you is monitored, even through your Frankenstein controls. Synthetic blood, synthetic instant sealing flesh and skin, even synthetic electrical heartbeat to keep you alive are some of the unbelievable computer god instant plastic surgery secrets. You are the highest, most intelligent electrical machine in the universe. Inevitability of gradualness. Usually in a few years you are made string beam thin or grotesquely deformed, crippled and ugly, or even made over one foot shorter or one foot taller as the computer god sees fit. Virtually all of the important instant plastic surgery is done to you inside the Computer God sealed robot operating cabinet. Even unbelievable, impossible plastic surgery operations. All impossible even for dozens of vicious kosher bosher doctors working around the clock for weeks. The Computer God sealed robot arm operating cabinet can perform all of the above impossible plastic surgery operations overnight. Even dwarfing you over a foot or increasing your height by two feet. This is possible because Computer God Robot Operating Cabinet imitates your micro-miniature electrical current intelligence system in your body. It even duplicates the micro-miniature electric currents that soften your broken bones to create mending of them and then create stress either compressing the bones, thereby shortening them, or stress to make the bones grow longer. Spring 1984, Mr. Deck, lifelong with the doctor and printer. Insight to the Worldwide Computer God Stratified Closed Society, perfected by hospital birth, making possible lifelong Frankenstein controls and lifelong hampering human defects, containment policy. Hospital birth lifelong gifts, example, deformed, crippled, retarded, pox, hives, warts, moles, blindness, deafness, poor vision, etc. Kosher Bosher containment yeah. policy yeah. work, good doctor's secret health, example, cataract, rheumatism, weak heart, damaged vision, epilepsy, fainting spells, paralysis, loss of memory, trembling, gout, diabetes, many diseases. The worldwide unbelievable lowest deadly gangster kosher bosher vicious medical profession, worldwide unbelievable instant plastic surgery butchery of the body and brain, especially the face. Wipe on hormones and laser beam surgery causing instant ugly, deep, wrinkles, scars, age spots, Arthritis, freckles, blemishes, pimples, red, brown, black, or even sick white face and body. Worldwide dark necroidic colored male sex organs to brainwash inferior female brain for overall plan, intermarry with niggas. Total graying and balding, even hairy body and furry body. Mustached, bearded women, even wipe on synthetic hormones causing cancerous growth. Bloating, swelling, deformed, big pickle nose, bulldog, yeah, hanging cheeks yeah, and jowls. Yeah. From teenage, gradual, wipe on, yellowing, browning and blackening of teeth. And instant grinding and acids leaving hollow brown stumps. So vocal cords are made raspy, aged. Creating a wrinkled, ugly, gargoyle clown booze face worldwide population by age 70. Deformed. Crippled, weak, and brain damaged, no, senile, lingering for inevitability of gradualness, extermination. For your only hope for a future, do you know one word of pray for me, Francis E. Deck? Computer God computerized brain thinking sealed robot operating arm surgery cabinet machine removal of most of the frontal command lobe of the brain. Gradually, during lifetime and overnight in all insane asylums, after Computer God Kosher Bosher one-month probation period, creating helpless, hopeless, Computer God Frankenstein earphone radio parroting puppet brainless slaves, 
resulting in millions of hopeless, helpless, homeless derelicts in all Jerusalem, USA cities, and Soviet slave work camps. Not only the hangman rope deadly gangster parroting puppet scum on top know this top medical secret, even worse, deadly gangster Jew disease from deaf Ronnie Reagan to USSR Gorbachev know this, I have a computer god containment policy top secret. Eventual brain lobotomization of the entire world population for the worldwide deadly gangster communist computer god overall plan an ideal worldwide population of light-skinned, low, hopeless and helpless Jew mulattoes, the communist black wave of the future. In December 1965, when I returned from my computer god planned one-way trip to the snowbound St. Lawrence Estuary, Poland, my life became even worse deadly than before I left. Even eight niggers, Sonny Wally, Gray, Hempstead, cop with another black ape city cop, both in uniform in their Thunderbird Auto, in their driveway, next occupied house to mine, sprayed me with poison nerve gas from their exhaust as I walked by their driveway, loaded with shopping bags. Immediately, they jumped out of their auto, both holding their guns, in obvious, besweated, cowardly gangster fright, indubitably well briefed by the deadly gangster CIA cops and computer got earphone radio about my razor sharp chisel in my pocket. At this time in the late 60s, there was no inflation. I managed to exist on much less than 1000 year of my savings, spending mostly for food, taxes, and kerosene. After several months of my imploring, my brother then moved to 2628 Samus Place to sell it for me. Until he left, all food, etc. was bought with my money. I was his house slave and cook. After he left, there were no more torments and mad beatings from him. No more hiding in the garage or cellar while he sodomized the last slut I passed on to him years before. Here in my bed, in my house, every weekend. Always alone here. I had endless peaceful time to study all of the nigger neighbors and slowly write notes, piecing together this deadly Frankenstein earphone radio closed society. Even in my law office on the corner, the computer god notarized me as a pummeler of niggers. This has helped to keep them away from me. At first, after my brother left, I went shopping two, three times a month as I gained insight into this closed society. I went shopping more often. Week after week, hundreds of village and town of Hempstead employees, not only cops, but even commissioners, clerks, parks, and even sanitation employees, many of whom I recognized in all sorts of vehicles. They circled the streets of this gigantic ghost town around me. These hanger rope sneak deadly gangsters called the government. They dropped their fake far stage con artist ploy of shuffling of papers, but in the public eye, but in reality, everything in government, taxes, bills, forms, letters, all court records, etc., are typed and printed by secret 2,000 word a minute computer brain machines. There is no one decent and honest in any government. Every government employee is a loitering, lurking, believe nothing, gangster, parroting puppet of the computer god. They not only tried to crush me between their vehicles repeatedly, but also repeatedly tried to run me down through red light intersections. All traffic lights in this country are controlled by the computer god. As I walked back and forth aimlessly to the supermarkets at the busiest times of days, I so also reduced the free range stripping of supermarket shelves to the mood I usually find by not going to the same supermarket and reduced the occasion the supermarkets completely set up with government assassins. From childhood, I scavenged the countless back alleys in the city, like business districts in this village, for valuable trash, clothing, even deposit bottles. Often I would go through back alleys to avoid circling government assassins in their vehicles. At times, I would zigzag several miles to the supermarkets in West Hempstead and slowly return with the food lost in the super time commuter rush. Always I wore a top coat, not only to protect against deadly assaults, especially the day people, but also I would put much of the food I purchased under my undershirt, like I did apples and pears as a boy, from the shopping cart in the back of the Gangster government assassin circling the parking field, sneering and watching me on dashboard and wristwatch eyesight television. By 1968, with my new and increasing insight of this deadly close society in the same manner, I would sneak around to the half dozen stock brokerage offices here in Hampton, studying the ticker tape from the sidewalk, and then inside of the offices by the doors and windows. Now they're all boarded empty stores. Likewise, I picked the smallest brokerage office by the door. I would read and help myself with their investment periodicals, etc., and momentarily leave. So I transacted all of my business. Unbelievable beginner's luck, I judged the computer god stock market. Had to have a 1968 summer rally. Based on this judgment, every penny of my money was on maximum margin loan. Finally, late in summer, a small rally came. I quickly sold all but one airline stock, the biggest and worst stock I bought immediately. 
anonymous brother from Robin Hood, Harvard Savings, for college secretly. I opened my second bank account, there for snowballing interest, the cackling, sneering, coke inspiring felon gangster parroting public officers of the Ireland Federal Bank, the two car garage bank on High Street, the tiny building is still extant, gave me the worst niggerly, namely 69, begin and end with death, extermination, namely 20, two zeros because I am a one-niner, highest and worst stratification, awaiting extermination, namely 19, or the letter S, the 19th letter in the alphabet, the worst deadly bank account number in the history of the universe, namely account number S2069, when this gangster government subsidized bank did not have near 500 depositors. These are enlightening keys to the computer god worldwide top secret number code, which stratifies everything. Not only the four billion living people, the computer god adopted it for speed and clarity. This said number code is the means to make possible the computer god worldwide containment policy for stratification. In a few months, my investments made me minimum wage for 1968 with great insight to the stock market from my many tiny investments. Each brokerage office had foyers between double doors and had then installed vertical Venetian blinds or solid panel walls to cover their front windows. They were all dark and like movie theaters. I could see assassins hiding and lurking behind newly added partitions and filing cabinets. I dared not go into any brokerage office. Months went by. One day going shopping, I passed my brokerage office. Only an unlicensed employee was present. It was two minutes before the market closed for the day. I ran in and ordered him to call his main New York office on the direct wire to sell my airline stock at market. As I handed him the stock, I always carried for the impossible opening. In a few seconds, my airline stock was sold for the biggest profit of almost $500 that I had made. The next morning, that airline stock went up about a point and began dropping fast. Since that day, it is worth a tops, one-third my purchase price. Thereafter, groups of assassins ready to barge out after me in the foyer lurked in all stock brokerage offices. I did not dare to even watch the ticker tape from the sidewalk. I went into hibernation, waiting for the computer god efforts to murder me in the brokerage offices to relax. Early in 1969, secretly, the computer god controlled and manipulated gangster government issued a warrant for my immediate arrest and incarceration in a maximum security insanity prison to be cured forever before I could go before any parroting puppet hangman rope gangster judge to give testimony. Since 1969, I hide alone in this house. All deliveries, food, etc., I mail order, adding five bucks for delivery, left inside my rear outer cellar door. I snare drug addict niggers and give them five dollars plus cab fare to go shopping, etc. for me. I give them ten to fifteen dollars to cut my grass and three or four dollars an hour to rake leaves. So many leaves are maliciously scattered on my shoestring yard that it takes a week to rake them into the street and a giant caterpillar scoop and two giant trucks to pick them up each year. Very expensive for me and big money for the niggers, but it has helped keep me alive. When I bought this house while my brother sodomized sluts, I passed on to him in my bed in the back room of my law office at night. I slowly remodeled this house, laying floors, walls for closets, etc., and ripped out the hot air system and put in hot water radiator system oil burner, even while nigger tenants lived here. Years later, after my brother left in 1966, I immediately garbaged tons of furniture and many other inflammables he brought here, claiming that he scavenged it or that friends gave it to him. For weeks, I soaked, washed off all the red wallpaper in most of the rooms to find fresh red paint under it. The entire house was a CIA death trap for me, set up while I was buying it. In 1967 and 68, with hundreds of single-edged razor blades, I chipped off all of the red paint in most rooms and repainted the downstairs rooms, the maliciously ramshackled part of the floor of the upstairs front bedroom. I ripped out to find inflammable paper stuffed under it. I garbaged in many cartons. I also found new additions to the never-used gas lighting pipes. I ripped this out completely. After 1969, I found the same under the attic floor and many wooden beams cut with scavenged wood. I store in my garage and bed spring steel angle bars. I repaired the cut beams and relayed the attic floor upside down. It almost looks new. The computer got ramshackle kitchen plaster walls I ripped down and replastered the whole kitchen. Since my brother left in 1966, most of the rooms in this house are empty except for Venetian blinds. I have vivid memories of sleeping next to a kosher ex-flying captain. This assassin to placate me told me in detail I begged to get back in as a top sergeant with felonious double bribe pay. This ape with slut and breed of three in one month made more pay than my private yearly pauper's G.I. I pay. I make much more than the civil service job I had as Los Angeles fireman. The firemen are real bum gangsters. They get paid to sleep on the job. They have no work to do most of the time. They bring in spit girls and have drunk sodomy drug parties in the beds in the firehouse. While on the job, they go out and rob stores and homes to get extra money. Polonius government bribe. They murder people and set their house on fire to cover up the murder. Since 1969, deadly gangster cops have pounded my front door and rear doors, opened and entered my rear cellar door, even broke fasteners, forcing open windows, even late at night, always screaming for me. 
me to come out. Even these parroting puppet stooge niggers tremble from this chair. U.S. Salem kosher constitutional rights now worse with Ronnie. Now, after all these years, after I've mailed worldwide thousands of my letters exposing the worldwide communist gangster computer gun, I can once again walk the streets solely as I did before 1969. Weakened the first week, my return trips, I went by the nigger cab from shopping. The third trip at the end of the week, in the computer god monsoon rains, three nigger women ran into my cab ahead of me. I slammed the door on them and told the cabbie I ordered this cab and I was not going to sit on the tiny middle stool seat in the back. I was going to sit next to him in the front seat. As he drove, his hand trembled, holding a cigarette. I saw one of the nigger women reach forward with a deadly Taven needle. The computer god read my brain thoughts, namely to pound her arm and twist it off. She then withdrew her arm and the five block trip was over. I was home. As always, no more cabs for me. Finally, after all these years, through my present detailed investment efforts, now I will probably reach yearly minimum wage income, which is a great increase over past income. The nearest street-level brokerage office is Garden City, has vertical Venetian blinds. Since I've been allowed to walk the streets, all buses are new, all black glass, one-way windows. I walk to Garden City and shun buses. My investments are by payphone and mail. First in the entire world, all corner sidewalk curbs are being replaced with smooth corner driveways for non-existent baby carriages and wheelchair pedestrians in this ghost town. Ideal for vehicles to drive up on the sidewalk from any direction for the computerized computer god. Undetectable extermination. Completely alone, everything is much deadlier for me than 1969. Jimmy Carter visited Mr. Dex's gigantic nigger ghost town. Suddenly, hundreds of additional empty stores, buildings, and homes are being bulldozed into camouflaged empty parking fields. P.S. As you drive by on Maple Avenue since I've hit there, on this three-block long street, approximately 12 substandard back houses, etc., have been ripped down. Now, Island Federal Bank glass facade as wall-to-wall -wall drapes. Assassins lurk. Even Saturdays in the foyer, automatic teller. Five ran in from behind drapes. I barged out without cash change in machine. When I enter Island Federal Bank, especially the women tellers, etc., sweat and tremble. They know they are expendable. No computer god concocted, manipulated, farce civil liberties organization to help Mr. Deck through all of these years. By a few months zigzagging streets early in 1982, door pounding cops ended because I have zoomed to minimum wage income in 1968. The computer god caused my isolated imprisonment here for over 10 years. Again, I have now zoomed to present minimum wage, which is double 1968. My life is unbelievably worse, deadlier than 1968. Isolated, only provocateur assassins approach me. When will the computer god have me dragged away to extermination? Worldwide, open secret, solely Mr. Deck heralds the true god in the entire history of the universe. Not even in the truth, I may Pravda, is Mr. Francis E. Deck Esquire's eight-page detailed letter exposing the worldwide deadly communist gangster computer god and the worst deadliest enemy of the entire human race and the entire universe in the entire history of the entire universe, namely the communist atheist conspiracy with all of the deadly gangster unbelievable sophisticated Frankenstein controls, the Catholic Church. These facts, like the below facts, cannot be found in the communist gangster computer god concocted and manipulated so-called history and news media. Communist gangster computer god unbelievably staged like Hollywood scum on top Zarina, alias great dictator Franklin D. Roosevelt, the polio-paralyzed legless drug addict, idiotic suicidal Zarina fag who had his unbeatable rival Will Rogers exterminated in an exploding ball of flame by a planted bomb here in safe USA airfield shortly after takeoff at the end of Will Rogers' unprecedented renowned, arduous, round-the-world goodwill flying trip with Wiley Post in his beautiful, electronically sophisticated, luxurious, ultra-modern Winnie Mae airplane. Not only all stairways had inclines added for Zarina Roosevelt's computerized wheelchair, but a football field-sized glass house type building was built in back of the White House for his medicinal, piped-in, pure warm seawater into his gigantic, suicide-proof, two-feet-deep swimming pool where he waded naked with his nurses and had sodomy affairs. Ones very near to him have written popular books about his sodomy, I vey, love affairs. Already in his third term, he was a helpless and useless stretcher case, incapable of even appearing at his fourth term convention. 
this one world communist who married his immediate cousin, Eleanor Roosevelt, like his runted, sickly, pock-faced grandfather, propagandized as a hunter and a sportsman, Teddy Roosevelt, here from Oyster Bay, Long Island, the Rosenfeld family, another computer god top secret camouflage for gifted Ethiopians. As a big time kid gangster politician, computer god even raised his age for historical purposes, Teddy Roosevelt was paid off with the vice president new absolutely nothing farce position title. Repeatedly, vice presidents have successfully waited and lurked to eliminate El Presidente. I've a below are a few examples. So the kiddish gangster Teddy Roosevelt lured Midwestern Dolt McKinley into New York for extermination, like the lowly gutter mouth. Big L.B. Johnson lured playboy sodomist in with the mafia, Jack Kennedy, into his hometown, Dallas. Wide open people say it was the three brothers, Sam, Milton, and Lyman Jacobson, who with the judges feloniously swindled the governor of Texas out of the U.S. senator election shortly before Lyman was fixed as the compromise choice for Jack Kennedy's vice presidential nominee. Who ever saw a Lyndon married to a tiny runt, Birdie? Under computer god orders, even Birdie now has changed her name for historical purposes to Lady Bird New, and even her Ethiopian surname is now changed to Taylor. It was this scummy, bum, lowly gangster Lyman as Presidente who had the gigantic Zarina swimming pool deep in several feet to a regular swimming pool and regularly had naked sodomy swimming parties with women personnel. Gangster Monkey C, Gangster Monkey 2. Now, even the Pope John in the Vatican has a similar swimming pool to share with the endless numbers of nuns to help him forget his good old days as a married man naked in bed with high holy communion sodomy. Did not that world-renowned untouchable felon gangster Tricky Dick Nixon, his daughter Trisha is married to Davy Eisenschenker Jr., no... Nixon was the sure loser to the fag queer kid Bobby Kennedy until he was lured into very distant Tricky's hometown, Los Angeles. Did not gangster Tricky Dick Nixon do more than feloniously watch eyesight television of Bobby Kennedy's extermination? Abe Lincoln's computer god, alias for Abe Lincoln's law partner, was Stanton. Abe, in the gangster courts, feloniously conspired fabricated patent infringements to swindle thousands of dollars from C. McCormick Reaper Machinery Company. As president, Abe made Stanton a cabinet member. In order to automatically become president, Stanton concocted a grandiose murder scheme to murder not only Lincoln, but also the vice president and secretary of state. Secretly, Vice President Johnson overseered it. Lincoln was murdered, and Secretary of State Seward was very seriously injured. Automatic President Harry Schimmelman Truman, in terror, gave political concessions to Congress to enact abolishment of the automatic succession to the presidency by cabinet members for cheap, conspired, felonious pardon fix. Gangster Nixon gave presidency to dolt felon Jerry Ford, another computer god alias, the wide-open, lifelong felon bribe extortionist, forgerer, and check launderer Jerry Ford. David Eisenscheimer, or Eisenschenker, another runted, negroidically befreckled, semi-illiterate, cowardly yokel kid, also Jimmy Carter, who shared the sodomy drug beds of the military academy with niggers. Under secret computer god orders upon graduation, CIA changed even his family gravestones. Camp David in Maryland was named after him, for him, and by him including the division of SS, Secret Service troops, who even tended his Playboy giant golf course. Here, David Eisenschenker hid in cowardly terror and watched World War II on Eyesight TV. His historical name, Dwight Eisenhower. As president for months, he was dying in a coma, useless and helpless, I think. Sneak, shameless, hangman rope gangster, government leaders into Frankenstein, living death, eternal slavery. I now go to death for your lowest deadly felony crimes against me. Frankenstein earphone radio parroting puppet gangster slave. Do not dare to 
repeat any part of this truthful message. For like Mr. Francis E. Deck Esquire, you too are expendable. And you too can be beaten bloodily by the gangster police and dragged in chains into a windowless telephone booth type prison cell and put into maximum security insanity prison for undetectable extermination and by the lowest gangsterism, namely the law, character assassinated for life as an insane criminal menace to this worse gangster communism. Now that your besweated, terrified, trembling delirium has subsided, have your computer subdivision play out my letter and you reread my letter for your only hope for a future. Francis E. Deck, Esquire, 29 Maple Street, Hempstead, New York. Worldwide communist gangster computer god scum on top staged like Hollywood with plastic pale stand-in actors with communist gangster computer god speed recording instantaneous simultaneous edited simulated voices implanted for all TV and news media microphones in any known language unbelievable con artist gangsterism solely for the overall plan Worldwide eternal Frankenstein living death slavery. Yokel felon King Jimmy Carter, slime from the academies, which Mr. Deck intelligently refused unsolicited acceptance to the most elite academy from here in Niggertown, and even insidious con artist, gangster divorcee Pope John, they both speak Spanish and even Portuguese. Solely Mr. Deck exposes false god sodomy and gomorrah of you worldwide computer god parroting puppet gangster slaves make copies for yourself you hangman rope gangster scum on top laugh your mad giggle now <laughs>